So you need your wine crate, some black paint, a hammer. Um, you need, these are for the little eyeballs. You need their little, they're called little loot balls. They have things your, like that at the dollar store too. They do, the dollar yeah. store. Yeah. Yep, craft stores too sometimes carry them. Your X-Acto knife, we need some well, foam cord are board. such fun moms. <laughs> fun, we are, fun it's fun mommy. being a fry. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. love your mom, right? right? Awesome. Right. Wait, and they're chewing gum. I thought they never chewed gum. Well, this is, <laughs> they you know, this, what this, I have before. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we don't do it a lot, but this is a special Halloween special occasion. occasion. It is. Yes. Right. Anything for TV. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Right. And then we have our chain and some other things I'm going to get into that you can also add okay. to your monster busting out of a crate. All right. Yes. So we are incorporating the moving eyeball into this project. Do you remember yeah. last year when brilliant. there was? It yep. was when actually you helped me. Yeah, we did the this, portrait. The portrait, right? Yeah. With yeah. my moving yeah. eyeball. Yeah, oh wow! So much. There it is. That is awesome. Yeah, it that's really crazy. Is. I actually hung that outside of my door last year for Halloween. I'm oh. going to do it again this year. Yeah. I can't even tell you how many kids I freaked this. out. Matt did this setup. Right. right? This That's was in the right. windows of the house. Oh. And the whole concept is that you can be, you can move, and it looks like the eyeballs are following you. That's very terrifying. Yeah. Right? <laughs> no, it is. It and is. fun and cool. Okay, now, when you so know how, how it's put together, you're yeah. like, oh. Show us how to do so it. Super easy. You get your wine crate, and you're gonna smash out a couple of the slats here. You can do one or two, whatever you want, which I've done here. <laughs> there we do. All right, and then you have your slats here. You want to sort of break them and crack them so that you can then nail them back on onto your sides or not and create like uh, a look as if the monster is eating his He's way out of his Trying to push his way out, box. right? Yeah. Right. Then on the inside of this, just so I can show you, the next step is you want to take your black paint and paint the front half of the box because you want to make it really dark and eerie so you so this is the front really when we set it up this, this is the front, front. Okay. exactly so you want to do this side this side and this side if you want to make it super easy just paint the whole inside either way you won't lose so we're going to put that aside there the next thing you're going to do is get your foam core and your little you can get a plastic bowl or else again this is one of those little loot balls that you can find take it and trace it out on your foam core. So you're gonna get a pencil, trace it out, and then you're gonna get your X-Acto knife and cut it out perfectly and pop it out. Oh! Whoa. Wow, now, just poked cool. him in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> How did I get the size of this exact measurement for this foam core? What you wanna do is measure the width and the depth of the box, okay, because you wanna make sure that it slips in perfectly well. If not, you can always glue and put a hot glue gun and fix it that way. So you do that. The next step is you're going to make your actual eyeball. So inside the eyeball, it looks like that. On the outside, we're going to take a Sharpie pen or some black paint, and you're going to create the outside line and then the inside pupil. And then to make them even weirder and more gory, you're going to add some yellow paint or green paint or purple paint, whatever color you want the eyeballs to be accented with. Then you're going to place it right into the center and have it stick. If it doesn't stay, you can get a glue gun and really make it stay in there nice and tight. Nice one there. Yeah, just like that. This one is already done. <clears throat> Check it out. So this is not the front. This is the front. You're going to take oh. this. So this is going to face outside to get that awesome eyeball moving effect. And then you're just going to slide it in just like this Good. and make sure it fits. And can, you know what? Nope. I actually think I did it upside down. No. And here we go. There we go. Just like no. that. And does it go right up against no, the you side? No, you want to have it about halfway down, halfway through, so we'll that you have that up. sort of 3D oh. effect. Okay, now this one isn't exactly perfect, right. but we can fix it with some hot glue. Mm -hmm. If you move over to the hero over here, that is what it looks like when it's right done. Behind Suzanne there. And Look then you that. just throw some watered down paint on the outside of it. You can make here we have a little label. So this is something that I just printed out on the internet. You can see it right here. And what does we it just, say? It says to Dr. Frankenstein's. Steinus. Have, Steinus. Stein, oh, oh, Steinus! Yes, oh. Dr. Steinus. Frankenstein's. <laughs> Wow. They're just getting you left wow. and right. That is Can so we much take fun. a look at what 
it looks like in the dark. Check it out. That's, See what it looks it, like in the there dark. There it is. Whoa. Now to get the lit up effect, you're going to want to put either a tea light or a battery operated candle behind it because there is some room and you just set it out on your front porch. And I'm telling you, the kids will love kind of getting that effect and seeing. And does it follow? And, it, it follows does. you. It like follows it. you. Oh. So you'll see people outside of your house going, okay, wait. It's almost like a science okay, experiment, too, to figure out how that works. It really is. Oh,